Okay, so let's try the um, this problem, which is a problem that was very similar to the last problem that we did, except the only thing we've done is changed the acid that we're titrating. Okay, in the last problem, we were titrating acetic acid. In this problem, we're titrating phosphoric acid. And when we do that, hopefully you see that the equation is balanced differently, right? So we have a 3 to 1 ratio as opposed to a 1 to 1 ratio like we did in the last problem, okay? And this is going to affect our numbers. Anyway, so this is the titration problem. We're wondering about um, volume and concentration, okay? So we've got volume, volume here, and we've got concentration of NaOH here. So remember, molarity is moles per liter. So I like to write it like that. Okay, so we can use it to convert. And we've got our volume of NaOH, our volume of sodium hydroxide in milliliters, so we want to convert that to um, liters, so we can cancel the, the volume out. So that'll cancel out our mils there, giving us 0 0.0947 liters NaOH. Okay, everybody's okay to that. Okay. And then we've got so we've got that many liters. We're trying to figure out how many moles of NaOH we've got. So we're going to multiply this conversion factor, the molarity, by what we just got. the number of liters of NaOH. That's going to cancel with that and going to give us the um, volume or the number of moles. So times the volume. At 0 0.0189 um, moles of NaOH. Okay, so to that point, we've done the exact same thing as the last problem. Okay? So it's at this point where the problems kind of switch gears. So here we, again, we're trying to figure out what's the concentration of this. So we've got the number of moles of this, so we're going to have to use the reaction equation for the mole to mole conversion. So in order to find the number of moles of phosphoric acid we needed. So it's one or sorry three moles of NaOH to one mole phosphoric acid. So we cancel and cancel there. So divide that number by three. And we get this number, 6.31 times 10 to the negative third moles of phosphoric acid, like that. So notice this is a different number than what we had before. Okay, with the acetic acid problem. But we know how many mils of phosphoric acid we've got. So, what do we need to do? Convert this to liters. So,
Well, it's the number of moles of phosphoric acid divided by the liters of phosphoric acid. So 6.31 times 10 negative third moles divided by 0 0.0250 liters. I got 0 0.253 molar phosphoric acid. Okay? So hopefully I've proved to you that if you have a, 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 a reaction equation where you need a, a different number of equivalents of base to acid, you can't just do the M1, V1 thing, it won't work. Okay, I'm going to kill, are there any questions on this one, any questions? Okay, I'm going to kill this one.